Everly's and it's just Maddie Everly's in the other room watching a show. We're sick. I don't feel good. Everly woke up last night with a 102 fever and just not feeling good. And then I guess it's catching up to me because I'm starting to not feel good either. And I've just felt super, super lazy. But it's literally 1.30. We, I'm being summoned. We haven't done anything all day. I had to edit a video and clean. But other than that, we've just been kind of sitting around. But I decided we're going to do kind of like a sick day in the life vlog. And show you all what we do when we're sick. Um, hi, Everly. Hi. How are you feeling? Good. You're feeling good? Yes. Oh, we're sitting on the couch right now. Whatever she has is starting to... Like, this morning I felt fine, but now I just do not. Absolutely not. Like, this morning I was tired because somebody was up all night. Don't know who. Um, I don't know. I, I feel good now, Mom. I don't know. Yeah, we switched. So, um, this morning I made her an appointment at Urgent Care because her pediatrician, like, the office wasn't answering for whatever reason. But I called, like, four times. And they finally answered and they were like, hey, we can get you in today. So, she gets to go to her actual pediatrician today. Mommy, mommy but I don't have to because I feel good already. No, you still have to go to the doctor. Why? You missed school today. You need a doctor's note. I need a doctor's note? Yeah, you do. I want a doctor's note to say, hey, yeah, she can feel good already. We'll talk to your doctor about that. Anyways, um, my mom went to CVS to go get, like, some ibuprofen for Everly, and they were out of, like, literally everything. Um, she'll only take the ones that you, like, dissolve in the water. She's very, very picky, but instead my mom got her like this art kit and Everly's just been painting this morning and watching this show. It's called the one, two, three go on YouTube. And it's so weird. It's just. It, it, it's with kids make the grownups see that they're, the kids are eating lipstick, and and the kid, the, the, and the kid don't eat makeup, and and the kid eat the lipstick that candy, just like the chocolate. That's weird. Well, they're I don't know, but we're just sitting on the couch right now. Her doctor's appointment is in two hours, so we're gonna leave in an hour and a half to head there because it's half of it, half of an hour away, half hour. It's a half hour away. I'm about to go get dressed because I'm still just wearing my jammies. Everly got dressed today. Everly is literally wearing like a fancy Christmas dress. I look beautiful though. You do look beautiful. You always look beautiful, but it, I just we felt like we switched. Yeah, we switched. So, I'm about to go get dressed, and I think we're going to fix everybody's hair. Hot? I don't even know. And today's me and Randy's one and a half year anniversary, oh. too. And yeah, we're you, just dying. You don't, you're not sick, but you're, you're cold. Play, play, play soccer play with me, and we can go to Taco Bell. Mom, please can we just go to Taco Bell? Yeah, if you play one level of sock boy with me. Not a left one, I want the red one. Okay, we can, if we play sock boy, okay? Okay. Okay, we're going to play sock boy now. But you can watch us play sock boy, but you can't for because we don't run out of shortage. So I just got dressed. I'm just wearing this sweatshirt, and Everly requested that I curl her hair today. I told her, baby, you're going to the doctors. Like, you can literally just wear pajamas if you'd like to. You don't have to get all ready, but she wants to get all ready. I still can't believe this kid literally was so sick and still wanted her hair curled and went and got dressed. It's just so funny to me. So I did my hair. Um, I just got my hair done yesterday, actually. And I'm loving it. And I did Everly's hair. And now we are in her room. Oh my God. Thank freaking God. 
I forgot to put the trash out last night, and I, I was thinking to myself, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to wait another week for all the trash to get out of the garage, and we're gonna be, like, behind, because our trash cans were, like, pretty full, and, um, <clears throat> the trash cans are outside, I guess Randy set them out before he left in the morning for work, thank god, it makes it so much easier, whatever, I have help like that, but, um, I really want to put on some makeup now, what are we gonna do for your makeup, queen? That one? Okay, okay. but... First, I'll do my lipstick. Okay, close your eyes because I already have the color on my finger. You can do a, this one. I'll give you choices. This one or this one or this one. She picks the red one. <laughs> it's very beautiful. This is Everly's deodorant. I'm going to put some on. I told her, I said, do you want to just, like, relax on the couch and play Minecraft? She said, no, let's go do my makeup now. Okay, queen. Oh, you're going to put some glitter under your eyes? Uh, just a tiny bit. Beautiful! So gorgeous. So I told Everly that we go to Taco Bell this morning. So, or I guess it's not morning. It's like the afternoon. Um, I need to get with the program. So, I'm going to get her some pants. And I think we're going to go ahead and head to Taco Bell. Because I'm considering driving through Starbucks as well. I want some black. You want black pants? She's wearing a Christmas dress today. You look gorgeous. Thank you. We're just sitting on the couch now. My lips are purple from this little smoothie bowl I ate. And... I have like mascara all over my eyes. So I look a little cracked. Okay, like that. You look gorgeous. Your hair's so pretty. I like it. How do you feel? Good. Good. Are you excited to go to the doctor? No. What do you want to do until we go to the doctor? I want to go to Starbucks and eat some, some Taco Bell. You want to go to Starbucks and Taco Bell? Yeah. I think we're gonna go to Starbucks and Taco Bell. Yeah. We're heading out. I just dropped the plant on the floor. Everything's semi-clean. I mean, I tried this morning. I really did try, so. Good. Yes. So beautiful. So we're heading out now. So I ordered, um, y'all might not like me for this one, but I ordered fake Uggs off of DH Cakes. I was, I mean, I was just curious to see if um, they would be realistic or not. So I wanted like the UGG Ultra Minis and they were sold out online. So I ordered the fake ones. I don't know if they're realistic or not, but I was not about to pay $180 for a pair of UGGs. You can hate me if you want for that, but like, I'm putting them on. They're cute. So we just grabbed Taco Bell and we're now going to head to Starbucks. There's still like 30, 40 minutes before her appointment. Actually 50, gosh. So we're doing really good on time. I, I was getting like matcha lattes for a while at Starbucks and it just kind of felt like too heavy. Like I just wouldn't be hungry after I would drink a matcha latte because it's just so like heavy. If that makes sense. So I started getting, um, I love passion teas from Starbucks. Those are like my all time favorite, but they're not caffeinated. So I was like, hmm, I really want a passion tea, but I want, I want like a little kick to it. Like I want some caffeine. So I decided to order a passion tea, half passion tea, half green tea. It changed my life. So I'm, I'm going to get that, I think. And, um, I'm also gonna get myself something to eat. I haven't really had that much of an appetite today because I'm just feeling yucky. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to get yet, but <coughs> we just got Everly a bean and cheese burrito. Is it good? So we're heading to Starbucks now and then we're going to go to her appointment. So I put on a little bit of mascara and fixed my hair. So I'm trying to feel less dead. Maybe this is better, I don't know. Um, the ponytail was just hurting my head, to be honest. I don't really care that much about how I look, but the mascara makes me feel a bit better. Um, <coughs> I got my tea 
and um, Everly got her Frappuccino and then got a cake pop and I got a spinach feta wrap and now we are heading to Everly's doctor's appointment. So there's there's a bug in my car somewhere and it, it's like a big-ish bug. It looks like a huge mosquito. I don't know what it is exactly, but it flew into my vents. Like I was trying to kill it when I was still in my neighborhood, but it flew into my vents. And my toxic trait is if a bug flies into my face while I'm driving, I don't know if I'm gonna have the willpower to not crash my car because once there was like a bee that got in my car i pulled over on the side of the road i got out of my car i got out of my car it was just like in a neighborhood but still i got out of the car it's just like a little i see it okay i'm at a red light let's let's get it let's get it let's get it let's get it let's get it, let's get it. okay i just like stuffed a napkin over it so hopefully that killed it it's just like literally okay Okay, well, um, hopefully that cuts it. That will improve our highway safety Can for I the day. Have a yeah. Let me go, sweet girl. Um, <laughs> my little brother is a freshman in high school, Stone. He keeps selling my number at school. Like, he sold my phone number for a bag of chips, and he sold my number again today for some pencil lead. So, I guess my number is just being sold to little boys. And, um,. Yeah, it's interesting, but we're on a red light right now and we're about to head there. My head hurts so bad. So freaking bad. How are you feeling, Everly? Good. We're here at the doctor now. I'm starting to feel better. I took a decongestant and sneezing was like my only really issue. I drank some caffeine, which kind of helped with my headache. How are you doing, baby? Good. good. That's good. You ready to see the doctor? No? Okay. Oh, we're going in. So what did you just do? Put a noose around my nose. Was it super easy? Yes. And were you super brave? Yes. You do? Show me. So those of you who don't know sign language letters, she is currently spelling out I love you. She recently learned the sign language alphabet and recently also learned how to spell I love you and it's her favorite thing to write. So it only makes sense that she learned how to say it in um, sign language, which I just thought was so freaking sweet. As soon as she came in, they swabbed her for the flu. They said they've got a lot of flu cases. And as soon as she laid down and fell asleep on the table, I knew she most likely had the flu. Okay, so we're heading home from the doctor. They did a flu test. Literally, as soon as we came in, they flu tested her. They're like, it's going around like crazy. And lo and behold, Everly has the flu. So they called in Tamiflu for Randy because I, I'm not too worried about whether I get it or not. I'm not going to take like the Tamiflu to prevent it. I'm just going to let it run its course if I do get it. But um, Randy is a type 1 diabetic, therefore he is immunocompromised. So I'm going to give him Tamiflu. And we have to go get a few things from the pharmacy for Everly. So we're just going to go to Kroger. And because um, that's where our pharmacy is, we go to Kroger for our pharmacy. So I'm I'm trying to find like a a powder ibuprofen or acetaminophen that I can like just put in her drink, and we're gonna stop stock up on like Pedialyte and all that stuff. My mom went to try to find it for us this morning, but she could not find any. She said um, the flu and cold section was completely ransacked, like there was like nothing left. So I guess it's just going around like crazy right now. But we're heading to the store. I guess we have the flu. I don't know if I have it yet, but I will sooner or later. So we just got to Kroger and they called Everly's prescription here and I have to grab some medicine for her. Um, so we're gonna have to run in. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Everly's gonna stay in the cart and I'm gonna wipe down the cart after she sits in it since she is sick. I mean, I don't really have much other of a choice. Mommy, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, we can get it. Um, I don't, I know yeah, people are probably gonna up. come for me for putting her in the store. Put on your shoes. 
put on your shoes but i mean whenever you're a parent your kid's sick and you have to go get the medication from the store what are you supposed to do honestly like that's that's what pharmacies are for but um we are running into kroger right now and we're gonna grab a couple of things we're heading home now um today is me and my boyfriend randy's 18 month so um <laughs> We've been dating for a year and a half now, so I got him some flowers. I got a really like a little nightgown thing she picked out, and oh god. Yeah, I'm using the donut right now. Yeah, we got some donuts and her medicine, and now we are just heading home. I just wanted to like take a video of me wiping down the cart so y'all see I actually wiped also, down the cart. <laughs> also, also, we did buy some for the bandage for the bandage. So we are just driving home now, and I think I'm gonna make soup tonight. Um, I meal prepped a little bit, <coughs> so I'm kind of like prepared for if I get the flu, I'll have like enough food for me to where I don't have to cook. I made like spaghetti squash, green beans. Um, I got some salmon from the store. I'll probably cook in the oven tomorrow just so I have it. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna really want salmon when I have the flu. Don't know. Okay, so I am cooking dinner now, making grilled cheese and tomato soup. Um, we got some free bread from Great Harvest, which is like a local bakery slash cafe type place. Um, so I'm using it to cook it. Hopefully it's good. I'm going to use sourdough for mine because the other one's just white bread. and I'm, I'm not too big of a fan of it. I like sourdough a lot more. So I'm just gonna use the sourdough, but I'm cooking that right now and I'm just like straightening up as I cook. I'm, I'm not feeling that great either. Hi guys. So it's five days later and today is the first day. Like we've been fever free for 24 hours. I really got to go back to school and <clears throat> I'm still getting over it. I'm still not feeling that good. The flu hit so hard this year. Like the new flu that just dropped, it's bad. It's horrible. I totally, I definitely recommend going to get a flu vaccination if you haven't already because it's horrible this year. I was literally just bedridden for days and I'm, I never am usually bedridden. So it was, it was horrible. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel and stay, stay safe out there. Go get your flu vaccine, wash your hands because it is bad. <laughs> Bye guys.